Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a little bit different than what I usually do. Today we are actually cooking and the purpose of the cooking today is to prepare for basically after birth, um, having all of these freezer meals ready to go. So the first thing I had to do was just get everything out and ready. And then I did my meal prepping. I cleaned out the freezer and I was able to get everything I wanted to get done, done in today's video. So I feel so prepared for the postpartum part of um, when our son is here. So I was just getting literally everything out. Um, my husband had just gone grocery shopping so that I could do this. It was kind of hard because we had to spend like double the amount because we had to buy for that current week plus the future. <laughs> so I, it was a little expensive, but it was totally worth it because now our freezer is filled with meals that we will be able to literally just put in the microwave and eat and they're all healthy nutritious foods that we always typically eat um so it's it's our exact same meals that we would eat any other day but i was able to prep them all in advance so i just feel so much better as you can see i have mushrooms um there's some egg whites chicken, vegetables, brown rice, black beans, um, ground beef. So I was able to just get all of the nutrients that we need into these meals and it smelled so, so good in the house. I was like, oh my God, I wish we could just eat this now. But I'm so glad I was able to get that done ahead of time. I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling cutting up chicken so I did a bunch of grilled chicken and it turned out so great I used several different spices I used turmeric parsley some Italian seasoning and um, I just you know sprinkled that on top and let it cook oh I also added paprika as well the house I'm telling you smelled absolutely amazing <laughs> so I um, just got all of that ready I turned the oven on we typically We'll do 45 minutes on 425 degrees, and then we'll just check to make sure that it's, you know, cooked all the way. Um, my husband has like a thermometer that we just make sure that it's at 160, 160 degrees Fahrenheit for the chicken, and then pretty much that's our tell that it's done. Um, and it always turns out so good that way because it's not too dry, it's not... Um, like not cooked it's like the perfect in between so anyways that is what I'm doing here just getting all of the cutting up done I have to tell you this whole process took me way longer than I was expecting I feel like that's how everything is <laughs> it always ends up being way longer than expected but um it took me like two and a half hours like between getting everything all the food out getting it organized um, you know, getting everything cut up, um, you know, put together like 
the seasonings and all that stuff. It just, everything added up so much time. So what I did was I just put a Christmas movie on in the background. So I had Elf on in the background and it was just, I tried to make it like a good time. I ended up watching Elf two times. Um, by the time I was done cleaning the whole kitchen and everything, it was a very long process, but I knew that was my number one priority for the day. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I got to get this done. And it does feel so good to have it done. And even if you're not prepping for a future baby or, you know, your kids, you can always just do this. Like if it's just you and your significant other, you can always just prep your food in advance and freeze it so that you always have something. You don't have to spend a lot of time during the week um, clean, like cleaning up after your dishes and cooking and all that stuff because you already have it done. Or even if you do have kids, I've seen a lot of people that have multiple children and they do this because then they don't have to do it during the week. Um, now, of course, if you can have it fresh, it's probably going to taste way better or a little bit better compared to frozen. But I've seen people do it for like if they have a large family, they'll just freeze a bunch of meals for the whole month and then they're good to go. Um, so I'm going to see how this, you know, tastes once we do eat it in the next couple of weeks. Um, and if it tastes good, then I'm just going to continue to do this because it did take, you know, a couple of hours, but it was so worth it if you have a couple hours to spare. Um, and just knowing that it's all done makes me feel so much better. section down below how your family does their meal prepping or cooking. I am one that is always cooking my meals at home. We really never go out to eat except for like special occasions. Number one, it's so expensive and it's just way cheaper to buy your own food. And number two, I am very conscious of what I eat and my health. So I... I'm very picky when it comes to where I want to eat out, um, only because I like to eat healthy meals and nutritious meals. Um, so I'd much rather just make it at home knowing exactly what's going in my food. And I also have very sensitive skin, so I try not to eat, actually I don't eat any like certain things like whey protein I don't I cannot have um, and I try to not have a lot of dairy products um, I do love cottage cheese so that's pretty much the only dairy and yogurt that I have but I just have very like severely sensitive skin um, especially within the past few years um, just from recovering from my face breaking out very 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 significantly um i finally have recovered from that so i'm just very cautious of what i put in my body what i eat um 
I really only drink water anyways, but I'm very, I just like to know what's in my food. So um, going out to eat, there was a couple places that I do really like. Like we have this one um, Mexican, it's like fresh Mexican food and it is so delicious. So that's my favorite place and actually it's my husband's favorite place too. Um, they, But it's all very healthy items, but of course, you know, they probably add salt well, I know they add salt and probably butter, um, which are things that I avoid. Um, but I do, you know, splurge on if it's our anniversary or our birthdays um, or just a special occasion. Then, of course, we will go out and celebrate. And that's kind of our way of celebrating. And growing up um, with my family, we pretty much did the same thing. We really only went out to dinner for special occasions. We never just went out to dinner just because. Um, and I think it's kind of special. It, it makes it more more special to go out to eat because you're celebrating something um but i don't know i'm just curious if you what you guys do i know as i got older i realized that a lot of people go out to eat all the time and it's like a totally normal everyday thing for some people um i was just not raised that way and i don't do that um my husband and i both don't do that but I'm curious, you know, what you guys um, do during the week. Do you meal prep your meals throughout the week or do you go out to eat or what do you do? Maybe a mix of both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. There's a lot of people that do a mix of both. Um, but we always sat down as a family at our house growing up and ate as a family. My mom cooked every single day pretty much every single day um so i do want to definitely do that as well um of course my husband jokes around saying because i eat so healthy that our kids are want to gonna want to go to their friend's house to eat food which is probably going to be true at some point um but i will certainly learn <clears throat> to learn how to make more different foods but keep it very healthy and nutritious for the kids um, because I'm the type of person that could literally eat the same thing every day. It doesn't bother me. You know, once in a while I'll be like, okay, I'm so tired of eating chicken. Like, let's mix it up. We'll eat ground beef, like lean ground beef, lean uh, ground turkey, you know, something like that. Um, but I it really, I have like the same foods that I mix throughout the week and you guys probably have seen that before too um, so even the stuff I'm showing you now this is stuff that I eat on a weekly daily basis um, I just really stick to whole whole foods that are you know nutritious um, so anyways I am curious what you guys do I thought it'd be kind of fun just to share with you a little bit of my background with um, you know how we meal prep and why and going out to eat on only special occasions. Wake up at your place Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast
I also wanted to share with you all where I got these glass bowls. I got them from Big Lots and I actually had to call my husband. He was out just doing some errands for us and I asked him to stop by Big Lots and get more because I didn't realize that how much food I was making. I wasn't able to fill up all the bowls so he had to run out and go get some more. Um, well he was already out but he got some more glass bowls for us. Um, they're not very expensive at Big Lots. Um, he also got, he was at Walmart at the moment that I called him, so he just picked up the rest from um, Walmart that I needed. Um, I just needed the larger sizes because the ones from Big Lots, it came with like a large, medium, and a couple small ones. And I just needed, like for example, this ground turkey is in one of the large ones. I needed one that size, a couple that size actually. Um, so if you are looking for glass bowls that you can really find them anywhere i mean target you could probably find them walmart big lots um, but they're not very expensive at walmart well big lots was definitely less expensive than walmart was um but regardless they work well from what i hear and i will be able to tell you guys once we actually eat the food it's in the freezer now um, but yeah, anyways, so those are the glass bowls that I used, um, and I just sat them, like let them sit and cool down before I put them in the freezer. I don't really know the reason why you were supposed to do that, but that's what I've always been told, so I just let it cool off. Um, and then I made labels for every single one of them, just in case, I don't know, just in case someone is at our house, like my parents or I don't know just someone's at our house and if they ask like about heating up food or whatever everything's already labeled um and then that way it's easier for John as well to just know okay here's where the sweet potatoes are okay here's where the ground beef is so I just labeled every single one of them and um yeah that was pretty much it it was it was easy it just was very time consuming so if you are going to meal prep I highly recommend leaving a, like three hour block or two hour block if you're faster than me but since I'm nine almost nine months pregnant um it was a little challenging to do anything fast nowadays so that's why it just took me way way longer than I was expecting but anyways I am so happy with how this turned out and if you give it a try with the freezing meals in advance let me know how it all works out and let me know what meals that you try
have had a baby before, I'm curious to know. I've, I feel like I've always seen this in the movies of when someone has a baby, people bring food over. Same thing with when people have someone in their family that has passed away. A lot of people bring food over. So it always... I feel like a lot of people um, show how much they care by making food um, and sharing it with others. So I'm curious, when you had a child, whether it's your significant other that had one or yourself, um, did a lot of people bring you food? I'm curious because if that happens, then we will have plenty of food because I made a ton plus if people bring, you know, food over. But um I just, I'm curious because I feel like I've always seen that in the movies and I was like, I don't know if people really do that in real life, but um, anyways, I got everything done, so now it was just cleanup time and time to put everything away. I had so many dishes in the dishwasher, so I ran the dishwasher um, and then I did clean off a few dishes and that was pretty much it. So it's crazy how I was able to get this whole video down to like, 30-ish minutes, but in reality, it took me literally two and a half hours to do everything, and then clean up took me like probably 30, eh, maybe like 15 minutes or so. But anyways, you can see Sadie just snoozing over there. At first, she was sitting by my feet trying to pretty much eat anything that fell on the ground, and then after a while, because it took me so long, she just went over there and fell asleep.
household, we have pretty much a good system going on. So either John will cook and I will clean up or I will clean up and John will cook. He does do most of the grocery shopping. I have to admit, I don't know the last time that I went grocery shopping, which is amazing. He is such a great husband and really, 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 really helps out, um, especially right now because I <laughs> am very slow compared to how I usually am just because I am like almost nine months pregnant um but anyways I'm curious do you guys have like with your significant other do they go grocery shopping and you cook and clean or you know does your spouse cook while you clean how do you guys typically go about it I know everyone has different strategies um but that's what John and I do and it has worked really really well for us when we first got married, we were, I feel like, super lazy, and all we did was the crock pot. We just put everything in the crock pot, and then all we had to do was clean the crock pot and whatever plates that we used. Um, well, we just put that in the dishwasher, but um, we were super lazy. Like, we just crock potted everything, which is still really healthy, um, but it's obviously not to the extent of, like, you know, cooking and all that stuff with the oven and having to clean all that out and all you know it just is more time consuming um but now we definitely have stepped up our game john is really good at making certain dishes like he makes a turkish salad because he is from turkey and it is so good it's like it just has like all of the fresh uh, vegetables in there and lime and lemon juice and it'll just taste so good so he has like certain things that he makes that are just so good and he'll make um he'll make a majority of our meals and then I'll I do like the very basic stuff that I have shared with you guys if I really wanted to I could totally cook and I do plan on doing that once um our son is here and he can eat like I will step up my game <laughs> but as of right now I like to stick to like my basic foods because they're quick easy and healthy um but yeah let me know in the comment section down below how do you guys typically go about that That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here and taking the time out of your day to watch today's video. If you are still watching my video, please leave a red heart emoji in the comment section. I'm so curious how many people will leave it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.